and welcome to my video in today's video as you can tell we are going to be going through my may tbr now this is the first time i've had a tbr in a very long time but i learned last month that when people recommended me books and i had a pile of them i actually got through because i knew what i was reading even though i am a mood reader it helped me quite a lot so i thought you guys would be the people that i would come to to share my tbr first and foremost so on my tbr there are eight books i'm going to be getting through if i get through all of them then i'll pick some more books to choose from but these are the eight that current moment in time i'm like i need to read these so let's get started we'll start with the first one and that is l kennedy the mistake which is the second one in the off campus series last month well technically this month because it still is april i read the reread the deal and it made me really excited to read this and this is a very thin book i will get through this pretty quick so I thought I would add this to it so that I can finally get to this one. I have the score on my T on my TBR as well as this one. I need the other two, but it's coming home time. I'm very excited for this. So this is the next one I'm going to read. Then as well, carrying on with the fact I started the first book in April, I'm going to read So Not Meant To Be by Megan Quinn. I will be doing a reading vlog of this. Now I've put this on my TBR to read I really want the third one but currently I don't have it and I'm on a ban until I've read the majority of my books because I've got that many books I'm like I kind of need to uh read most of them so I'm putting it on I'm a bit like should I or shouldn't I but I've put it on because I actually really want to read it and I loved the first one so maybe I'll just have to break the ban to get the third one in this series but I'm so excited I'm very annoyed at the works though they have a sticker on it so i'm gonna have to peel this sticker off somehow i love how i'm doing this right now but you know when you peel it and then that happens you're like mm. yeah that's happened so you know but this is the next one this is the third the second one in the huxley series huxley series kane series what am i about and it's am i in love with jp kane ha he certainly thinks so is the opening line and i think this is like i don't know if this is to be honest i'm going in blind but um i bought these two books like when they were in the works for five i was like i don't know what they're about i've heard everyone rave about it had that my friend was like these books are amazing so instantly bought i am very excited to read these and i cannot wait so you'll have to find out the reading vlog to find out what it is you'll learn from this video that i go into books blind so i will have no clue what these books are about or very little and that's basically how i do books the next one I'm going to read, or the next three, are the Elsie Silver books. And this is Flawless, Heartless and Powerless. I have all three. I got these two last bank holiday Monday when it was the double point stamps. And I actually got very kindly sent this one. And yes, I'm very excited. This will be a reading vlog. I asked on my Instagram where if you want to be following me and find out loads of information or like new videos I'm going to do, instagram is the place to go it is linked down below but yeah i went on instagram i was like do you want like individual reading vlogs for these books or one massive one and everybody wanted one massive reading vlog so this series will be just one huge reading vlog and i'm so excited it is a like a small town cowboy romance and i've really got into country music so i'm blaming these books even though i've not read them this one i believe is like professional bulldog and uh, who's a golden boy i can't remember a single dad which I'm extremely excited about and this is best friend ice hockey this is the book that made me want to read this series because of this book it's ice hockey this is the one i'm most excited for but i have friends who have read all of these books and they say every single one of them is amazing so i cannot wait to get reading and you will see my reaction to these when i have done the reading vlog and i'm so excited like so excited like extremely excited the next one is i forgot to put my phone on charge <laughs> the next one is bloody heart by sophie lark i have finally got the rest of this series so i can finally be like yes i actually can sit and read them so yeah I'm currently watching the F1 at the same time, by the way. I'm filming and watching the F1. 
sorry, Channel 4 were talking to Lando. I got a bit distracted. Um, so this is Bloody Heart by Sophie Lug. It is the fourth one in the Brutal Right series. And this one has Dante in it. So the moment I read the black and found out it was Dante. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This went straight on the TBR to read. I really want to learn about Dante. I love these books so much. Easy, dark romance, mafia. Don't have to think about it. Beautiful books. Also, these are illustrated ones. So, you know, it's a good start. Now... This is a book I'm currently reading. I started reading this whilst reading Fallen Heart of the Royal Guard, but I finished that one because I was like, I need to finish that one. So this is actually the one I'm currently reading and it is The Newspaper Nanny by Ma Marin Moore. This is obviously a single dad. He's an NFL, no, NHL ice hockey coach. He's going on to, he's trying to find a nanny from what I've gathered. And I think this is going to be spicy. I assume this is. I'm not very far in. I'm only 22 pages in on chapter three. But it's a very... The reason I picked it up when I did was I was dealing with a lot of deadlines. And it's a short book. So I thought, oh yeah, I can read through that. And then I kind of didn't read anything. <laughs> so I just finished the first book I started. But I'm very excited to read this. Like, very excited. I also love, like, the way it's printed. It's I love this cover as well. Uh, I don't know if this is in a series or whatever i think it might be but so far so good very easy reading and that's just what i'm wanting this month just easy reading however when i say this the next book i've chosen is saving six by chloe walsh now if you watch my february one you know i started this i am 107 pages in and i was annotating it as you can tell but I had to stop. My mental health couldn't cope with this book. This is a very deep book to read. And it's a very thick, deep book to read. Um, so I stopped it. But this month I am going to get around to it. And I'm going to finish it. Because I think I'm mentally in a good place. And I know that I can take a few days out this month. If my mental health gets that bad. So I'm going to be reading it. I'm nervous because it kind of hits very close to home for me. And many different areas with myself and also friends and family so it's gonna be an interesting read but I'm going to read it I've got redeeming six ready as well for if I want to read straight after but this is how far in I am but yeah I'm gonna get around to this book this month so they are all the books that I'm gonna be getting around to this month um make sure to stay on here and subscribe so you can see any of the reading vlogs of these videos that I've mentioned because I know there is going to be at least two reading vlogs this month out of these books um but yeah I hope you like this video if you did don't forget to give a thumbs up comment down below what books you were reading this month if there is any in particular that you're going to read and I'm really happy that you stayed along for this video and don't forget if you have stayed along for this video and did enjoy it and want to see more there's a button called the subscribe button if you click it and click the notification bells you'll be notified every time i upload and then you will know that when i upload you can come along and watch more i mean i would if i was you so i think you should but that's it for today's video i'll see you next time in my next video and i'm hopefully fingers crossed gonna be posting at least two to three times a week so if you don't hit the notification bell you won't realize i'm posting two to three times a week which means you'll miss out on videos and we don't want that, do we? So remember to go click on it and I'll see you guys next time in my next video.